All right, so I got this guy from Michaels. Um, it is, let me bring this up a little bit. It's called a hobby knife, um, specifically designed for building plastic kits. Extremely sharp blade, if you can read it right there. And as you can see with my thumb, I guess I didn't read it because it's extremely sharp. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's denub this guy. And I don't know why my camera is acting up. All right, take off the safety and let's denub. So it's a nub right there. So I kind of just shave it off. Oh, All right, sorry about that. I had a phone call. I probably have a lot of stops in the video on and off. So sorry about that in advance. All right, so let me take this guy off. I mean, I'm going to try to get some type of thumb guard or something because this thing is really, really sharp. But, okay, so I just denubbed everything off of here. It's real clean and nice. And what I'll do is um, stick it on there. But first of all, I'm going to try to denub the rest of them. So, actually, just put this. Put this guy right here. Would it be so much easier if I had my uh, my table? We just clean this up right here. I missed the piece, and you don't want to you don't want to worry about if uh, there's like little white spots because of course when you spray it when you spray it left and right and whatnot, um, it should it should cover up those spots. So let's put that right there. And I think I picked up another piece, so I clean up this one. Clean uh, up this one. All right, so stick that right there. smaller piece I'm really starting to like the way this kit's coming out um, like I was saying before I'm actually going to be entering this one in a contest they said that there's no prizes for like I guess the first tier or whatever but once you uh, if if you win at the store you will get a um, I guess something to go to like another competition and that one to be for money um, I'm debating as far as like if I'm actually gonna go if I win hopefully I win but I think I'll win something just because I don't think anybody's gonna be doing Gundam that go so hopefully that's the one thing that I got underneath my belt um, but right now I'm just still denubbing these things trying to make sure I don't cut them off it's kind of a um like i don't know if you've ever shaved like apples or anything like that or cut apples it's kind of like that as far as like the way i'm holding it and you know excuse me for having this ugly band-aid but i was kind of tired yesterday when i was uh doing things and you know did a real cut into my hand now here's now when i was shaving the other ones i want to show you these this is the one with the nubs on the end of it and I'm going to show you how easy these things come off. Bam. And usually that's it. That's all you need. I mean, I'm real precise, so I'll try to sharpen it even more. But uh, another thing, make sure you don't take off anything that's supposed to be there. I think I've done that maybe once in one of my 100 kits. No grade. Alright, so put that in there. Try to space them out too, because you don't want to get the, the paint collected on, like you don't want them bridging together or anything like that. So, take this 
like this. Alright, I think this guy is almost clean. What else I have here? This piece and this piece. So I'm almost done here. And I don't know if you guys have seen, I, if I didn't have this band-aid, I probably would have cut my hand like so many times. But, you know, if you can get a band-aid, I guess, or like some tape. Like, I sometimes I use hospital tape that'll uh, help out there. Stick this guy over here. And last piece, which I believe I did already. Alright, where can I stick him at? I guess I can stick him right, right about here. And it's like the, the, the tape is only here to keep them in place because you will imagine once you start spray painting, it's going to kind of push the pieces around. And I've gotten this technique from my friend called, um, his name is uh, Vector or, or Victor. And it's a really, really nice um, technique because painter's tape, it's sticky enough to, to stick pretty good, but not too um, sticky that it, it'll like, you know, pull off the spray paint or pull anything else off. So it kind of stays on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go ahead, take this in the back because, you know, you got to watch out for the spraying fumes. And um, I'm going to spray this down and stay tuned for that video.